Hi and welcome to LAB Automotive. In this video, I'll be discussing those signs you notice in your vehicle, specifically for Toyota Sienna 2004-2005 model if you're using that particular vehicle and you experience all these signs I'm going to make sure in this video it's time for you to replace your engine temperature sensor. Sign number one, when you start your vehicle and you notice that the idle is very high. Not that it's rough idle, no, but the idle, the vehicle is idling at between 2000 to 2005, 3000 RPM, steady. That is one of the sign. Sign number two is your temperature gauge on your dashboard not working. Sign number three is the cooling fan don't even work, even while the vehicle has run for more than, uh, let's say, five minutes, ten minutes, the cooling fan doesn't work. Sign number four is, you notice suddenly, after driving the vehicle or leaving the vehicle to run for some time, you just notice the temperature gauge move a little, let's say 10% movement, and stay there at that 10% movement, and the vehicle's idling will now come down from either 1,500 or 2,000, 2,500 down to 1,000 RPM or even less to depend on the car your, your idle is calibrated or configured, maybe 900 or 800. Sign number five is even while the car is on a high idle and the temperature gauge not working, but when you turn on the AC, you notice that the fans, the cooling fans will start running. But when you put off the AC, the cooling fans will stop. Sign number six is engine overheating. Because the fan is not working and the uh, gauge is not indicating the temperature of the engine and the engine has run for a very long time. There is nothing to, to take off the excess heat in the coolant. Automatically, it will not lead to expansion of the liquid inside the uh, the line and which will not cause overheating of your vehicle. So when you notice your vehicle is experiencing all these symptoms, that is a proof to tell you that your engine temperature sensor is faulty. You need to replace it. Now I talk about the don'ts, things that you don't need to do while you experience this symptom on your vehicle. Number one, do not try to adjust the throttle body or even spray cap cleaner into the throttle body, thinking that will help the idling to come down. Don't number two, do not adjust the acceleration pedal. Some people might say, okay, this vehicle is idling high. Maybe it's the acceleration pedal that is stuck. No, it is not the acceleration, acceleration pedal. Do not adjust or temper with your acceleration pedal. Don't, number three, do not bypass the cooling fan, like disconnecting the cooling fan from its relay and connecting it directly so that it will be running to cool down the engine. It will not solve the problem. So all these three don'ts I've explained will not solve the problem. If you are in a situation where you take your vehicle to a mechanic and the mechanic decides to carry out these three don't I have told you stop request the mechanic to test to bring up the temperature sensor and test it and if it's not working which is not which is the cause of those problems in the vehicle remove it and replace it with a new one i hope this video has helped you Thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel more video will be uploaded on this channel so that you'll be able to guide you on how to troubleshoot your vehicle how to carry out maintenance in your vehicle how to identify parts in your vehicle i have other videos in my channel please go through them hit the like button make comments if you have any issue concerns put it on the comment section and i will respond as soon as possible thank you for watching I'll see you on the next one bye